Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm Adam Wagle. Uh, my two brothers are here as well, uh, Gabe and Don. Uh, Paul was our uncle. And uh, because our father passed away at a young age, uh, Paul was also like a father to us. Uh, it's hard to distill a lifetime with Paul into three to four minutes, but I'm going to give it a shot. Paul had, uh, had many amazing qualities, and today I want to focus on three. You guys focused on three, so it's my turn to focus on three. Uh, but these are qualities of Paul's that have enriched uh, my brothers and my life, uh, and the, from which we've benefited greatly. First, uh, Paul was a really funny and, uh, and fun-loving person. He was always quick with a joke, uh, quicker with a smile, and normally uh, that smile was a wide-mouthed grin. My youngest brother, Don, as a result of growing up around Paul, uh, exhibits uh, many of these same qualities. <laughs> Paul was also in create, uh, incredibly creative, as, you, as was witnessed by the trains and the stilts and the roast beef sandwich, I believe. <laughs> Never made us a roast beef sandwich, guys. <laughs> no, it must have been later. Later generation got the roast beef sandwiches, but. We got a lot uh, from Paul, regardless. Uh, he loved uh, woodworking and loved working with his hands and uh, gave my middle brother, um, as a result of working alongside Paul for uh, nearly his entire life, has uh, inherited and uh, exudes these same uh, skills and abilities. Uh, Paul was also very caring for his family and friends. Uh, when you got into trouble or had an emergency, uh, you probably called 911. However, when uh, my brothers and I uh, got into trouble or we had an emergency, uh, we called Paul. Whether, uh, whether I'd crashed my car or whether Gabe had gotten his Jeep stuck in the mud or whether Don had knocked out his front teeth, uh, sledding down our driveway, icy driveway one winter. Uh, Paul was always our first responder. Uh, over the past month, uh, Gabe and Don and I each had uh, the opportunity to fly home to Amherst and to spend time uh, with Paul and Ruth. And uh, in the uh, one night, in the middle of the night, I was uh, walking Paul uh, back from the bathroom to his bed, and uh, he turned to me in a, in a moment of clarity, and he looked at me and he said, Thank you, Adam. And I didn't know what to say at the time. I, I was speechless, but uh, you know, it's very clear to me and my brothers now um, what our response is to Paul, and that is, no, um, thank you, Paul. Thank you. God bless.